All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this objective. So we're looking at um, congruent figures. And so what we're looking at is if two figures are congruent, what parts of them are also congruent to each other? So like here, you know, my A, B is congruent um, to E, F. And it is, so order does matter. Um, so it's not F to E, it is E to F. Um, and so we're looking at, and what we're doing is we're doing congruent figures, but essentially what we're going to do is we're going to lead into congruent parts um, of congruent triangles are congruent, so C, P, C, T, C. And so this book starts out with congruent figures. Okay, so if I look at this construction question, you know, it says to label all the parts that are congruent. And so um, A, B is congruent to itself. That is by the reflexive property. Um, and then we have um, BC is congruent to BD. And then we have AC is congruent to AD. And then what else do we have? We have angle CAB is congruent to angle DAB. Um, angle C is congruent to angle D. And then we have angle ABC is congruent to angle ABD. Okay. Um, if we look at this one here, I don't know why there's a random dot. Um, get rid of that random dot in the middle of the thing here. Okay, so suppose triangle um, WYS is congruent um, to... Uh, triangle MKV, if angle W is 62 and angle Y is 35, what is angle V? Okay, so um, what we've got here is triangle WYS is congruent to MKV. Okay, so Angle W is 62, angle Y is 35. So, and then these two triangles are congruent. So that means that this is 62 and this is 35, and I want angle V. So 62 plus 35 is 97, and then I want 180, oops, not minus 90, minus 97. So that gives me 17, so 3, so 83. So measure of angle V is equal to 83 degrees. Okay. Third angle theorem is just kind of what we just did here, where if um, these two angles are congruent and these two angles are congruent, then the other angles are congruent. Okay. And that is it for this lesson.